What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Josiah Quaker. And today we going in on my guy, and he's about to get a temp fade. My apologies, I did not get a chance to film the beginning of the haircut because I'm used to shooting vertical for Instagram, but it's all good. We're about to lock in. Right now, we going in combing and cutting with the Oster Octanes um, with the one and a half blade on, just keeping it uh, pretty thick up top. But as you can see, um, my guy has a calic, and we just we just going in combing and, um, and cutting. Let's get it. Cool. So right now, um, I'm using the new Andis bespoke trimmers. Uh, they're actually pretty trash. Um, I would save your money. Don't go get them. Go get you another pair of Babyliss or um, maybe try the pairs of the Sabres. But um, don't do not get these. They're a waste of money. I pay like two fifty for them. Um, and right now I'm just going in framing out the haircut, um, prepping uh, my line to go ahead and go in with the the Barber Magic pencil. <clears throat> and what you want to do is you want to match the, um, the texture of the hair. You want to match the, what the color of the skin. You want to match the hatch. So I'm going in with the, a, a light brown pencil on dark or brown uh, uh, skin. And on white skin or extreme light skin, I go in with the white pencil. But right now I'm going in with my end is masters. I'm just flicking out. I've been working on using my tools to the best of my ability to just maximizing what I have and cutting down on a whole bunch of guards. So right now I'm going in just uh just setting my my circle up there in that, that C cup area. Well not this yeah 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 in that, that temp area, you know, and I'm just um fading down uh uh to, to make that nice temp fade, make that nice blurry blend. So yeah, right now I'm going in with um shoot, I think these universal guards. I got the black ones um just because the red ones broke, but I'm going in with the one closed and open. Um just really just working that area, flicking out, <clears throat> maximizing the guard, um, maximizing, maximizing what I have, man, just so that I don't run through every single guard. Um man, I'm at the point now to where I can kind of just bounce around and, and use the least amount of guard possible. But as y'all can see, I'm going in with this would be um, between a one and a half and a two with uh, the red universal guards. I love these. They feed here extremely well. My guy Gino Barber put me on them. And, you know, I guess he got them from a few other people, too. But um, right now I'm just going in, just just detailing stuff with my hand, my coilers and just masters again. Just really making sure I put them in. But as y'all can see, now I'm going in at the back of the neck. Um, this is, man, this is one of the trickiest areas. Um, I can fade pretty much the whole head besides the back of the neck um, with no guards whatsoever, clip over comb or whatever it is. But when it comes out of the back of the neck, man, you got to make sure that back, that, that, that neck taper is popping. But yep, I'm just going in with my cordless and his masters, flicking out, flicking up, uh, fading the area in. Um, I guess you would consider it fading down, but uh, I, I do a mixture, man. I fade up, then I fade down. Um, but right now, <clears throat> I'm about to go in with my my zero guard for the universal guards. Um, after I clean up this little panel, but make sure y'all got y'all a comb um, or a brush, whatever y'all prefer, just to. Um, make sure that you you're feeding the hair making sure that you you laying that hair back down um so yeah i'm going in with that zero guard um, i apologize for the angle but i'm going with that zero guard flicking up small small quick strokes um man this was my first youtube video in a while so i'm just trying to just trying to make sure i was real efficient with my time um time ain't money but you know it's just shoot it's up there with uh with air but yeah, so right now I'm going in with my one guard for the Universal Guards. Uh, yeah, I got this thing spitted up, so y'all won't be here all, all day so y'all can get fed and, and go on and, um, go on and uh, uh, saw somebody up yourself. Yep, 
have the guard off. Um, and I'm really just detailing it, man. The end is masters. When I tell you, like, the blade opens up to a win, um, man, you can really go up into the up into some length up go up into some bulk with them and it's masters when you flip them on the side like that and i'm just really just working that area making sure that um it's all blended uh um i have some clients that come in man and they want their haircut to last as long as possible that's when people who come in every week um you just gotta know your clients and right now i'm going in with that that uh i believe it's the oa um, don't quote me but it's essentially like a uh, between a one and a half and a two guard for the red um Universal guards, man. You can use them on any clipper. Uh, I personally like using them on the um, the Babbler's low, cro low Pro is better. I'm just going up into that bulk, making sure it blends smooth and nice with the rest of the haircut so it can last more. And here we go, going in with the uh, Low Pro Trash Mobiles again. Um, but what y'all just saw me do is um, I went clipper over comb and took off the bulk from around the ear. We're just going in, getting a nice, crisp, sharp line around the ear. Nothing major getting things going like clockwork holding it here now um yeah combing and cutting working that ear and yeah don't go don't go up too high use the curvature of the ear as a guideline i like to drop my clipper you'll probably see it you'll probably see me drop right around the ear yep got the uh liner angle down and i'm dropping it straight down yep and always clean up after yourself man you want to make sure you got good quality work so y'all can go out there and charge them them good quality prices. Um, here again on the other side, doing the same thing. Um, man, a, a quick second on these these Andes trash mobiles, man. Look, I honestly expect them to do a lot better. Um, I'm I'm disappointed. Uh, they're not it. How can I put it? I love the black uh, GTX cordless outliners with, I mean, yeah, yeah the cordless outliners with the, um, the gold blade, but when it comes down to these, man, they, I just, they, they didn't oversell them. I, I rushed and got them so I can do a, a video on them, so I can go and do a review on them. But right now, man, I just cleaned off the face, lined up the lip, lined up the mustache, um, I mean, they cut through bulk well. That's about all they're doing. Though. So right now, we're putting the shaving cream on my guy so I can hit them with the hot towel. Um, all my clients get a hot towel, every single last one of them. Um, man, this quality and, and, and um, just care of service, y'all have to do if y'all want clients to stop leaving, okay? Um, and you got to be consistent with it, so you can't put a hot towel on them one day and try to charge them an extra $5 for a hot towel tomorrow. Don't worry about if you're gonna do it, make sure you do it and do it to the best of your ability. Yep, in the top lip with the razor. That is a Turkish cutthroat razor. Um, and now, yeah, uh, we're going in and line them up. Yes, sir. And as y'all can see, he does have a callus in the middle of his head, in the slap middle of his head. So, um, I don't want to push him back too much. I just want to make sure we have a happy medium between both sides. And y'all will see that as um, we get towards the end. Um, of the cut and see how I, um, how I pulled it off but um, um, when you have a client like this man you don't want to push them back in the middle of that calic you want you really want to split the difference um, between uh, where the hair is light enough to put a line on but so that you still don't give them a, um, an old man for a hand because um, nobody wants to walk around with a, a, a Steve Harvey pushback line up yeah, I'm just combing, lining them up. I know y'all can't see it. Uh, the best I'm working on my angles. Bear with me. Um, bear with me. Yep. But one thing I can't say about these clips, one positive thing I can say, is that they um, handle the horn, the corners of the lineup very well. And I'm just going on right now with my Barber Magic pencil outlining it because I'm about to hit them with that sauce. Um, thank you, level three. Uh, yeah, I'm going up with the level three color, um, diluted. Not gonna tell you my mix. Um, uh, Y'all can figure that out on your own. I'll maybe drop that later on in one of these YouTube videos. But make sure you don't throw that back pencil on there super thick, man. You, you want to have a, a nice thin line on there, uh, so that you can get rid of it. And 
y'all see me right now brushing everything back so i can hit it with that enhancement um i have a corded compressor i have a corded compressor i don't like the cordless ones i don't think they have enough power um to atomize the color the way i need it to and i'm using yes i'm using the um uh i think it's a 245 um color card uh i want to make my own just don't know how to get into it if anybody knows how to get into it let me know in the comments um but that was a major key right there hopefully y'all didn't miss it i used the blow dryer to set in that color um so that when i put my fibers on there it sticks good um right now i'm just using that card to make sure i i i, I keep my area nice and nice and clean nice and tidy i'm going up cleaning it up with the razor that is a turkish cut for a razor i will be dropping my own soon i will be coming up with my own soon so y'all need to go ahead and grab one they're not gonna be terribly expensive, maybe 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. But on um, y'all need to go in, uh, get y'all one because uh, um, if, if you're a barber that's precise, um, that likes the, 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 the most precise of the precise, that's the razor you need. Um, it's, it, stop, stop using them fat razors, y'all. Y'all using them, using them, the, you know, like when you was in elementary school and you had them big old fat pencils because you couldn't write good, that's what them big razors is. I can see we, 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 we got them looking good all right we got them looking good so if you're in the atlanta area and you want one of these or if you want to know how to do one of these hit me up get in touch with me you can see that back taper is clean it's popping the front taper the front line is popping um yeah man it's just this quality at another level so y'all need to get with it um i'll get behind it or something but that's it 